and welcome to PowerJackRepair.net and today we have a Samsung laptop for the power jack repair let me get the model number let me get more light the model number of the laptop is 900x Samsung MP900X3A Alright, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the jack on the laptop. And you see jack is this piece right here, where you connect the plug to, and it doesn't really snap, it doesn't really do anything here. So we're going to be replacing this connector. Um, people have to wiggle jiggle the plug to make the system work. Basically, people have to, the client has to wiggle it up, down, left, right to make a solid connection. Um, for a couple of months. So, I see somebody tried to take it apart before, but uh, here we want to disconnect uh, this pad. And that bed. Alright. And uh, you want to lift up this bed. And this bed right here. And uh, that's it. have a jack right there. Uh, somebody was gluing it in place and the glue obviously didn't work. Maybe it did work temporary. So here you want to do is you want to disconnect the the, uh, the cable right here. Now the bracket. Remove the jack. Okay, let's remove all the other crap that's in there. Like that. Let's not, let's not wobble this camera. So what's the reason why it doesn't work well? I don't need to get to the bottom of it, so here. Let's see. The client did the right thing, he did glue it in place, but uh, if it's a loose cable in the back of the jack, that's your problem. So here, like that. Okay, like that. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Ah, okay. So here is the problem. When you put the jack in, it doesn't do that, it doesn't do that kind of snap. There should be a snap. The reason it doesn't do a snap because there are there are two springs on the side of the jack, one to the left, one to the right, that's supposed to grab onto the outside of the plug. And the pin goes in and grabs into the pin inside, so it does make a contact. But the negative part, the two springs that's supposed to grab in the jack in place, uh, they are not there, so the, the connector moves around and it cannot contact with the, uh, with the negative. So it's not the connection on the back that's bad, is the jack itself inside is bad. Let, let me find a compatible jack and see if we're going to be able to do much about it. By the way, the first thing we need to do is remove this dust right here, which uh, seems like dog hair or something. Accumulated. All right, let's see. All right, now that's clean, we can proceed. All right, uh, another point is right there, if you look closer, you see how uh, the plastic pieces, this plastic piece is bent out and this plastic piece is bent out completely. So they don't hold the jack in place anymore and the jack goes side to side. So what we need to do is we'll need to be fixing that and the way to fix it is a uh, hot glue but first again we need to and here is another problem. It seems like the hinge the hinge is kind of loose. So what you wanna do is uh, what you wanna do when it comes to the hinge, make sure it's nice and tight. Now what you wanna do is you wanna glue this hinge in place here, glue the hinge right here as well. Uh, I think the well, this is not the hinge, this is just the cover for the hinge, that's what it seems like. And this, does, this screw doesn't do anything. The screws that do something are right there, which you want to screw in and tighten up, alright? Because this screw just covers the... this screw just covers the... Uh, just covers the cover, <laughs> cover. alright? So let's put this back in. All right. Um, there's also seems to be damage to the casing right around there, um, which we probably can probably fix a little bit. Let's see if we can straighten it out a bit. Um, hold on a second. Let's see. Like that. Like that. Like that. All right, here. let's straighten out the casing. Um, is it possible? Well, it moves around all, all too much. Is there flicking spring someplace? All right, well, let's force it a little bit in. Like that. Come on, go in. Let me. I might scratch it a little bit. But let me let me fix this uh, first before we're gonna proceed. Otherwise, you're gonna. Take a Yeah. 
and like that. Alrighty, so that's a little bit straighter, but not by how much. Alright, hopefully maybe I can glue it in place a little bit more once I'm gonna start dealing with the glue. But yeah, so there is no solid connection on this end. It just basically can fall out probably here. See how... So this is connected, and if I just gonna slightly pull on the cable right here it's gonna kind of fall off in a second uh, yeah like that so you see nothing it doesn't grab onto the connector at all i mean this is not how it's supposed to be so let me find a connector like that Alrighty, I found two compatible connectors. One is uh, without the cable and one with the cable. And let me see which one is more compatible here. I want to measure the length. The length. Oh, oh, hold on. I don't want to mistake in the two. So, yeah. Okay. So on this one, you can hear a click. Listen to this. You hear the click? All right. So that's good. Here is another new one right here. Uh oh, you see? Uh, this one has a much smaller hole as it turns out. So, uh, so the only option is this guy right here. Okay, so that's the new jack, that's the old jack. Let me not mistaken. Let me put this. Here, let's see one more compatible jack. Okay, so this one also has a click. You hear? All right, let's. Uh, Compare the two. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if, if the connectors are the same or not. Yeah, connectors are identical, and layout of the red and black wires is identical. So I will probably just put this guy in. Okay, let me see. Will this guy will this work in there? And which way am I putting it in? So if it was like that, I have to put it in like this, uh, like that. All right. And well, that's not the right way. 
it doesn't seem at least that the right way or not. Let me put it in like this. Alright, now let's see if the holes align. And you get the click. Yes, we get the click. The holes align and we get the click. So that's a good thing. Alright, then we don't need to solder anything now. This is a bad piece, so this we're gonna mark as bad. Bad. And bad. Okay. Disregard that. Uh, let's put this back. Here is another one I want to see if this one has a hole. Yeah, this one also clicks. Yep, alright. Alrighty, so this seems like the most compatible jack there is, and the holes do align. Do they align perfectly? Yeah. So the pin should be exactly in the middle. You see how it's exactly in the middle? Depends on which angle I show it. So that's, if you're looking straight, it's perfectly in the middle. All right, so that's that, and let's connect it to the to the power source to the motherboard. And like that, maybe not like that. You know. Okay, so like that, we connect this guy. Let's see if it was connected exactly the same way. Mm, yeah, red, red, black, black. So we don't want to mistakenly mess up the polarities of the uh, of the jacks. So let's see if they are if I connected everything properly. It should be ground. Yep, that's ground. All right. Now the situation here is that uh, we don't want the glue to penetrate inside of the jack. And the way to prevent that is, uh, if you look closely on the jack, uh, there are two holes, one right here and one right there. If the glue penetrates those holes, or if the glue goes on top of that spring, we're not going to be able to connect anything to it anymore. So what we need to do, before we're going to glue anything in place, is this. We just take uh, some Captain tape, 
just a little tiny bit. And we want to cover the area which might get more glue than we want. And that area is right here. So yeah. So we're covering up the area. Then we cut excessive tape off. Like that. Like that and like that. You see? Like that, yeah. So we cover the 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 area where we don't want the jet to penetrate the, the where we don't want the glue to penetrate the jack. And now we just need to surround the area with the glue. But first we want to inspect how this whole thing is it just the cover or is it not just the cover? Ah, okay. Never mind. Hold on one second. So we have this thing also here. We're supposed to go here. And what we need to do more is we need to make sure that the hinge is still going to rotate. Uh -huh. All right, so it's going to be like that, right? Okay. Like that. And then we have this. And then we have that. So, here. I'm afraid for the hinge a little bit. Alright, you know what? Uh, let me leave this off. Let me see what we can do in regards to that, okay. This I want to leave off as well because we need glue right here on the side. So the first thing we need to do is add glue to the side, to the side and to the back. Then we need to put this guy back on. And we need to remove the tape. And then... And then glue everything here, back, and then we add this guy. Alright, so that's how we know it. So let's move all of the all of this to the soldering station. All right. Uh, here. No. Sorry. Yeah.
All right, I need a few more minutes to uh, to um, All right, like that. All right. That's better. I need a few more minutes to uh, for the heat gun to warm up. That's good. All right, so while the wood didn't dry all the way, I'm trying to put the the connection back in. With colors. All right, so that you can get that. Okay. Uh, let me see if. We are getting the connection. Mm 
up and we're just fine. Well, I don't want to be too forceful in here. Because we didn't write up all the way yet. But I want to be holding it down a little bit. Yep. All right, so you've got the connection. Everything still clicks. And the next piece of the puzzle is connecting and uh, and uh, and All right, so let's see if the glue should, should kick in by now. Uh, if it didn't kick in yet, it would be really a big failure on my part. So I'll, I will give it a few more minutes because I don't want to mess up the glue. So sometimes cement works as well. You know, you can cement it and you can wait 24 hours, that's even better. Uh, but for the sake of the video, But for the sake of the video, I would like to show you that everything worked before before and this way. Alrighty. So what I want to do is I want to find another screw for the or here. Inside. It doesn't seem like there is a nut. So this is really nothing to
Look, it doesn't it doesn't hold anything there. There is there not? Maybe this is not the right screw. Let me see what type of screw this is. Alright, so we're looking for something like that. Okay. Here is one. Alright, let's see if you gonna go in there. In there. I mean, the letter had the nuts missing. Okay, so this one's holding. And this one we're gonna screw in here. Alright. Let me see now. So it's on both sides is where that thing sticks out. All right. Um, let's add the power supply into the power outlet. Let's connect the plug into the jack right here. And see. So here, here is I'll demonstrate to you. Uh, here, stop complete silence. See if. On this mic, you can uh, hear the click. Hold on. You heard the click? Yep. Now let's, let's try to. Okay, yeah. so like that. Let's hear the click one more time. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. And one more time. You hear? Yep. So it's all nice and glued in. And as you can see right there, the plug is almost touching the side of the wall, but it doesn't touch the the this part of the wall right here on the bottom. You see the plug clears everything just fine. So we got the light right here that indicates that the power is going to the laptop. So let me unplug the cord and show you that the the plug okay, let's unplug it. This thing goes out, and now we plug it back in. All right, and now we wiggle it around. We wiggle it around, making sure that it's all nice and tight. Yep. And now we power it up, and hopefully we're gonna get the Samsung. Yep, we got the Samsung. And yeah. So yeah, and in this case you don't need to send us the motherboard if you want us. If you want, we can fix it for you for 100 bucks total. That includes the labor, the parts, and the shipping back to you. So it's all inclusive for 100 bucks. If you have exactly the same laptop making model, which is, uh, I really like this kind of laptop. It's really small, it's really light. Uh, let me see what we got here. So, plugged in charging, right? There is the, is the information plugged in, charging, 20% left to charge. Um, and the wireless connection is uh, we didn't disconnect the wireless, so wireless is available. And I just and I didn't disconnect the touchpad, I mean the keyboard, but if maybe somebody screwed around it before me, I didn't check the uh, yeah, so that's it. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching, and you have a good day. If we can help you in any way, uh, if this video helped you in any way, uh, thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.